It is first thing in the morning and this is going to be a day of food video. Uh, most of these videos that go over like what someone eats in a day are um, by someone who's like a crazy athlete and they eat like 10,000 calories a day or something like that. Or uh, someone who's into like losing weight and being skinny. Uh, but uh, I'm just a dude with MS and I follow an anti-inflammatory diet. So this is kind of a different day of food video, I think. Uh, when I got diagnosed with MS uh, about three and a half years ago, I completely freaked out. One of the first things I did is I started uh, figuring out uh, how to eat differently and I've been following this diet ever since. Uh, this video is going to have two parts. Number one, I'm going to show you what I eat today and then at the very end, I'm going to sort of talk about why I eat what I eat, the philosophy behind it, uh, books I've read, and stuff like that. Let's have some breakfast. Alright, so that's breakfast. Uh, I should just point out that I do take a couple supplements. Uh, fish oil pills, a couple of those for the omega-3s, and a B12, and the vitamin D3, 5,000 units. Uh, super important for people with MS. So it's like about 10 o'clock, and I'm about to have my snack. And uh, it almost always looks like this. Uh, these things are RX bars. It's got, I think, four or five ingredients. We got egg, uh, dates, egg whites, almonds, cashews, blueberries, natural flavors. Uh, they taste okay. I should probably just eat that stuff like fresh, but I often eat one of these things. And a banana. Uh, some days I'll have an apple too if I'm really feeling just totally crazy. All right, it is 11 o'clock and I usually don't eat till noon, so I'm starving and eating a little bit more uh, fruit salad. There's like mango, plum, banana nectarine. Lunch time. Okay, so that is lunch, uh, just big old salad. And uh, for some reason, I'm drinking my water out of a big gallon jug today. I bought this yesterday and um, I don't know, I'm just drinking out of this. But that's it. The only other thing sometimes I do with lunch is uh, throw a bunch of salsa on there. You know, just like a straight up organic salsa that doesn't have any sugar additives or anything like that. Uh, if it's too plain, I'll dump some salsa on there. And as I might have mentioned already, there are some variations to this, but this is the basic template for lunch. It is 2.40 in the afternoon and I'm gonna eat a mango. Late afternoon, handful of nuts. So I think dinner probably has the most variation for me, but I'll just show you what I'm having tonight. It's pretty much an example of the kind of thing I will eat. Uh, but like I said, uh, there is more variety in this meal than others. What we had here is, um, uh, this is like some beets and onions and fennel that I roasted up a couple days ago. Uh, it has some olive oil on it and maybe a little bit of salt. That's about it. Um, I'm having uh, a couple hard-boiled eggs, some asparagus, olives, this is kind of leftover stuff, uh, a little piece of pepper, broccoli, some cucumbers, some homemade hummus that just has tahini, cumin, lemon, and salt in there. And I should probably say that I'm probably not going to eat all this stuff. Like this is hummus for a couple days and these roasted vegetables, they might last again till tomorrow. Uh, this plate is pretty much my portion, and I'll add a little bit to it. I also busted out a little bit of tapatio, um, just putting it on the eggs so they taste like something, and 
This stuff's pretty basic, uh, like water, red peppers, salt, spices, garlic, acid, xanthan gum, and some sodium benzonate. So it's got more ingredients than I typically eat uh, in like an item, but uh, it's tasty, so I eat it. And it is 8.30 at night, and I am gonna wind down with a little bit of a snack. Um, in the evenings, I'll usually have some fruit, not always watermelon, just because it has so much water in it. But um, sometimes I'll have some watermelon before bed or some other kind of fruit. Um, I'll vary it a little bit, but not too much. All right, so uh, thanks for checking out my day of food video. Um, uh, somebody asked me on the channel in, in a comment to uh, do this video a while back, and I thought it was a cool idea, but it took me a little while to do it. Um, I think making this video affected a little bit how I was thinking about food during the day, eating a little bit more or less. It just felt a little bit funny, but I think you got a good sense of what I do. Uh, as I mentioned, I do vary a little bit. Um, and here at the end of the video, I just want to explain um, the philosophy or the ideas behind what I eat. Uh, if you made it this far in the video, maybe you're interested in this. If not, that's cool. But I'm just gonna say what's going on uh, with this diet, like where, what it's informed by. Um, basically, it is uh, an anti-inflammatory diet. Uh, that's the term I've been, uh, uh, you know, kind of like using to sort of define how I eat, uh, more or less. Um, I also have hybridized a few different diets. So uh, basically, when I got diagnosed with MS, and that was about three and a half years ago. Uh, I'd had it, I had the disease for a long time and I got diagnosed, I read a bunch of books. Uh, one by Terry Walls, she advocates a, uh, like a keto paleo diet. Um, another by George Jalinek, he advocates kind of, um, or promotes a uh, sort of like a Mediterranean type diet. Um, uh, it does have gluten in it. It's sort of a different diet than Terry Walls, but not that different. And then there are a few disciples of uh, Swank, uh, Dr. Swank, I think his first name was Roy. Um, and he had a kind of like low, uh, low fat diet. And he informed uh, McDougal and a few other, um, few other people who write about the importance of and speak about the importance of diet and health. Uh, not only for people with MS, but a few of those people like Jelinek and uh, Terry Walls, they really focus on MS. They both have MS and they're both medical doctors. Um, I've also uh, been impressed by the um, uh, MS Hope diet, mshope.com or .org maybe. Uh, I'll put a link here on the screen. Um, uh, the MS Hope diet is from the Embrys. It's kind of a, a family uh, project um, out of Canada and Matt Embry has MS. He's a little bit younger than I am but um, he's had MS quite a while. And he's the dude who uh, made the documentary Living Proof. And anyway, he's got a, he and his family have a diet that they promote. And it's, it's called the Best Bet Diet because it's also kind of a synthesis of a bunch of different diets. Anyway, so I read all those diet books and watched the videos and s speeches and stuff like that. And I sort of came up with a diet of my own. And uh, what you saw today is a, a pretty good example of that diet. Uh, it is rich in uh, fruits and vegetables. It also um, uh, keeps it simple in terms of the kinds of foods I eat. Not a lot of processed foods, not a lot of things out of packages, um, not too much that's cooked, uh, nothing fried, um, uh, very few heated oils. Uh, that all comes from Terry Walls who writes about uh, how heating an oil can kind of break it up, uh, break up the molecular structure of the oil. And uh, you know, if you have MS, you have a breach somewhere or multiple uh, uh, breaches or porosity in your uh, blood-brain barrier. And uh, there's always potential for so some of the stuff that's in your bloodstream to be in your spinal fluid and to attach the myelin in, myelin, myelin and um, possibly trigger an episode. So uh, I don't eat any glutinous foods, uh, no refined sugars, like no high fructose corn syrup. I do eat some honey and uh, maple syrup and sugars that come in the fruits that I eat. I guess I should say that I try not to think about what I don't eat and I try to think about what I do eat. I do eat eggs, Terry Walls says don't eat eggs, but she says that because she's allergic to eggs. So anyway, I just kind of piece my way through 
Terry Walls and George Jelinek and Swank and McDougal and the, and the Best Bet Diet at mshope.org, I think it is, and found a diet that works for me. Um, uh, legumes and that's like beans and lentils and stuff like that and tofu are off the uh, off the table for a lot of people on an anti-inflammatory diet but I've been eating that stuff my whole life and it's been it was hard for me to try to even think about getting away with it getting away from those foods um, because the only animal protein I eat is fish um, salmon and tuna and uh, Actually, a little bit of chicken too. I've started eating a little bit of chicken, but that, that's, that's, a, that's a story for another day. Anyway, uh, I only eat a little bit of fish uh, every other day, so I do eat beans. Like uh, you saw me eating hummus today, black beans, tofu, and um, you know, I'm kind of rolling the dice, I guess, but uh, like I've said before on this channel, three and a half years with no exacerbation, so I feel like I'm doing pretty good. Uh, anyway, uh, that is sort of like the, the background for my food um, habits and my diet. Uh, I don't drink alcohol. I drink pretty much only water. Sometimes I'll have some fruit juice, uh, some kind of low blood sugar, or some coconut water, which is pretty awesome. And that's about it. All right, so that's a day in the life of my food. Thanks for checking it out. Also, if you leave a comment, I will totally respond. Uh, my favorite thing about YouTube is that it's a place for people to talk to each other. All right, take it easy and be well.